Uh, CLBC stands for Community Living British Columbia. Uh, we're a provincial crown agency that provides uh, supports and services to adults with developmental disabilities. Now, my training is as a social worker. Um, I started back in 1991. I actually did child protection social work. Uh, but I always had an interest in working with um, both children and adults with disabilities. A lot of individuals are not familiar with our services. And um, so I think it's important that we provide the more information for the community. My job is mostly is to meet with people um, to figure out, to help them figure out what, you know, what they like to do with their life. Our objective is to integrate and, and uh, provide opportunities and encourage and support opportunities for inclusion. We've gone from a place of 30 years ago where we put people in institutions to where people are now back in their communities and are part of community, um, just like everybody else. We've seen people who found employment, their confidence level has, has skyrocketed. They're a different person when they have a job. They feel like part of the community. John's been with us almost from the beginning. Uh, uh, we, we found him uh, one of our career fairs and uh, he had just worked at another local company and he was really looking for a career that he could last forever. When people of diversity enter our lunchroom, they interact with our, with our other associates and, and it just makes for a wonderful team environment. It gives them a sense of accomplishment, gives them a, a sense that they belong in our organization and, and we try to encourage that. Hi, I sweep around the building, and I clean around the outside, I bring the buggies in, I push them in, do customer service and greet the customers. When I came to this job here, I seemed to enjoy it. I fit right in with everybody. He, he just comes to work every day with a smile on his face, very positive. You'll never hear very uh, anything negative come out of John. He always just comes to work every day to try his best. We did, got a statutory de declaration declaring um, uh, October Community Living Month. It's something that's done province-wide, but again, it was us, one of our self-advocates who went to the councils to say, would you do that as a proclamation for the cities, and they did. My name is Debbie Ramage. I'm involved with CLBC. I'm one of the Advocate Liaison Peer Advisors. I'm a person that has a developmental disability, but you'd never know it. I have um, a quote, and it goes like this. Recognize people for their gifts, not faults. We all work collaboratively, um, the staff and, and the programs. Um, we have some really good programs in our community. I'm a job developer and job coach for Vancouver Island Community Connections. We're a service that assists people um, that are accessing service through CLBC and uh, we help with finding jobs and then help with training on the job. I find that people tend to stereotype a little bit. You say disability, they think one person. Whereas it's, that's the furthest thing from the truth. Everybody's still an individual. Every, if somebody has a disability, it doesn't change the fact that they're unique. Um, often people with disabilities are told they can't do things. Um, simply because if you have a disability, you can't do that, um, and, and that's just not true. Part of um, um, our project is to focus on health and well-being, and also um, to socialize with other people in the community. And we find that coming here and exercising amongst the rest of the people in our community, we're meeting a lot of people um, that aren't challenged in any way. We're getting away from you know the disabled swim, or the, if you can only work out at the, the times for disabled people. They don't have that here, and I really like that about these facilities. Is it's not about um, you know the disabled and the non-disabled. It's everybody together at the same time. When they see somebody in a wheelchair in the gym, a lot of people are like, "What are they doing in here?" But you know what? They're just like you and me. They're working on their upper body strength, their lower body strength. You know, somebody with CP can still walk on a treadmill next to you. And um, they're building their strength up for themselves, um, body and mind. And it's, uh, it's a neat perception to see people looking going, wow, you are amazing. You, you can walk in front of people, you can walk over top of people, but I believe that we walk with people um, on the journey in their life. Each person is unique and different and has gifts to offer a community. 